50 years after British scientists invented MRI technology at the University of Nottingham, the same campus has created a revolutionary new scanner which could one day offer brain MOTs. It could help, we're told, detect the early signs of life-changing conditions such as epilepsy, dementia and multiple sclerosis. Our science correspondent Martin Stew saw it in action. But water molecules react when subjected to a strong magnetic field. It's 50 years since magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, was invented at the University of Nottingham. Well, I can never be 100% sure that uh, there won't be any adverse effects. Featured on Tomorrow's World, its inventor, Dr Peter Mansfield, risked his life to pioneer the scanners, which are so vital today. The worst thing that could have happened uh, would be um, a cardiac arrest. He did survive, and in a building named after him, scientists are now perfecting a quantum leap forward in scanning kit. MRI is exceptional technology. It can make structural images of your brain with millimetre precision, but what it can't do is measure the electrical activity in your brain, and that's what our new piece of kit does. Okay, there we are. Inside a room designed to isolate me from magnetic interference, I've been invited to try it out. Prepare left. Unlike an MRI, I'm able to move whilst being scanned, Turn. enabling quantum-powered tests for conditions like Parkinson's. Inside each one of these sensors is a gas of atoms whose magnetic properties have been altered by a laser. A magnetic charge from our brain alters the way those atoms interact, and by measuring that, we can monitor brain activity. The results are digitally processed by Dr Karen Mullinger. As the stimulus came on, the signal reduced. As the vibration on your fingers stopped, then we get this massive jump. What we see um, in patients with different neurological diseases is differences in this response. In MS, it will take longer to go back up. So am I looking OK? Currently, you're looking absolutely fine. That's good news. That's good news. <laughs> You already track your steps, your heart rate, and your sleep, so why don't you do the same for your brain health? Private companies are already using an older, much more expensive version to offer patients brain MOTs. The government, which has invested heavily in quantum technology, hopes this smaller, cheaper kit could be rolled out to the NHS within a decade. It's not something you might just find in a hospital, but you might find it in your GP's surgery in the future as a low-cost way of initially diagnosing these conditions. And crucially, diagnosing them early. Martin Stew, ITV News.